Well, we had our first breakdown. The bracket that holds the clutch in place broke off and the clutch spun around and uh, took the wires out. So I gotta, we're gonna run home. I gotta weld that bracket back up, put the wires back together, 10 minute fix. And well, we, then we got the PTL thing. No, that was it. That oh, was that the was problem. it? That was the problem. Oh, so it wasn't the PTO switch? No, I, the thing's been shutting off for a while. I thought it was a PTO switch, but it was actually the clutch there. The bracket was breaking off, so. <laughs> yeah. okay. That's not the first time that one's done it. So I'm gonna quick weld it up. It'll make us through, uh, oh, quite a while, but I am gonna have to uh, reinforce that so it doesn't break anymore, because it's only held on by a little bit. So I'm gonna have to put some plates on that. But. Right now, we're just going to get a fix to get us through for uh, this week, and then I'll fix it on the weekend. Yeah, welcome to the mowing world. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. So not that big of a deal, and it's, you know, good thing I could fix everything, because if I had to take it to the shop all the time, we'd go broke. Well, the thing is, is you'd have it sitting there for a couple days. Ah, uh, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Although, we did find out we do have a new skag dealer in our area, and, and they do replace, yeah. yep, if your mower breaks, they give you a mower to, to Yeah, use. they bring you another little mower, yep. So, uh, yeah, the new skag dealership in town is uh, helping a lot of people really fast. So, I don't know what all you can see of this. But they just said, whoop, this is barely even on there. So they had one tack weld here, just a small one, as you can see. And same thing on the other side. Actually, there's even less one on the other side. So I'm just going to weld this up solid all the way around. So I should not have a, ever, I should not ever have a problem with it again. I have the vice grips to hold it in spot, spot in place to help me out. So, uh. Yeah, this belt's going to be a little iffy, but I think I'll be okay with it. Yeah, she's pretty dirty. But she's gonna be welded up good here. Got it pretty well, but um, if I would have taken the paint off, I guess it would have been better, but I never ground the paint off. Yeah, that's, sorry about that, loud noises. So that should be pretty decent, that should hold up very well. Okay, another thing we're going to have to do is fix this. Um, these are not soldered together because uh, I want them to pull apart just in case the same thing happens again. Because I don't want to rip them out of here and then have to buy a new clutch. So I'm just going to twist them and then heat shrink them. I know. Soldering is the best, but 
This works really well too. Sorry if my fingers are in a way and you can't see much, but you twist them up like this, it holds pretty good. And just put the heat shrink on there and it holds even better. Plus it's faster. That's all there is to that. I'll have to feed this around pretty tight when I get the bracket and everything in there so uh, let's put this up here and put the bolts back in and get this thing uh, going here loud noises It's going to be getting this up there and holding this. I should have grabbed the impact, but I didn't. Let's see if I get this started in here. Let's see that thing close. kind of blind so it's gonna take a minute okay the best part about it is that thing is slotted so it can move around and uh, it's a little off but it's not going anywhere so I could tilt it yeah just a little bit off not bad though just a little bit clutch down just a touch. I got the bolt in there. Let's hopefully that kept where it's supposed to. Yeah, that up oh, too high. Let's say loud noise. And tie it up first. We 
Yeah, I cut all these zip ties. Well, you silly thing. Gotta make sure these are all tight so we don't get anything in the belts and lose it all. Open up the garage door. Let's uh, get, this. get this thing dropped down. baby is flat flat so I got who knows what in it so time to put some green slime in her hang on to the Schrader valve don't lose it a bottle of this every year. Huh, cut myself someplace. Oh, eight ounces is where I want to be, but I don't know if I'm going to get eight. I'm gonna figure out where, I don't know if I'm going to figure out where eight ounces or not. That should be good. Okay, Schraderville back in. Yeah, that's green. 
make sure it's right side up. Yeah, a little messy. Best part about this, you just put water on it because it's water soluble. Looks like it was leading or leaking around the bead. I can see it's wet all the way around there. So I must have hit a curb. Bagger dump bunch dump out opened up. Yeah, there's some clippings in there, but because this spread apart. So I am gonna put a bolt going through here with the nylock nut to tension it up. Okay, this is the only 3 8 bolt I got left, which is just a hair too long, like a whole bunch. So I'm going to have to stack some washers in there until uh, I can get to the store and get some more. But I see right here, if this was as thick as this side right here, I don't think I'd be having this problem. But um, yeah, we'll get this fixed. I'm going to start off with uh, like a 3 sixteenths drill bit to do a pilot hole, and then we'll jump up to 3 eighths after that. Get it back here about there, and it should be fine. Gravity. Made it a long ways. Okay, five washers on one side, one on the other. Should take care of it. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it's got a long ways to go here. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's a little tight. Oh, that should work out pretty decent. Maybe a little too decent. I'm going to have to adjust this handle. So the mower is fixed. Everything's fixed on it. I've got the, the clutch is fixed, the handle's fixed, tire's fixed, and that's it for now. Because uh, I greased everything all up. That's all good. And we've been working this thing pretty hard for about two weeks. Uh, doing a lot of cleanup, you know, picking up a lot of debris stuff. So that's going to be it for me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for the next video. And we will see you on the next video.